Hi friends, welcome to Tech Tutorial in Telugu by Teja. And today our topic is let us see some of the important run commands every Windows user should know. Okay, with this it will make things very easier. Like no need to go to all the settings and get the things to be done by using these commands we can access them directly. Okay, let us see what are those commands. Okay, go to the run command and the run command by can be opened by using Windows plus R button at a time it will open in this way or else you go to the start menu and just type it as run you can open in this way as well see the first command let us see is services.msc this is the easiest way to open the services app this is the whatever the window has been opened is windows services application okay with this you can configure and you can stop start uh, whatever the service you want you can monitor everything okay this you can restart the service you can do all the things from here and the second one is msdsc this is remote desktop connection with this we can take other pieces in the lan through remote or uh, through internet also we can take the other systems into remote and we can work on it okay let us see the third option ms info 32 with this it opens the system information it includes all the hardware and the resources and the software and environment details you can find all the system details along with the model numbers everything you can come to know what is the processor and all those things okay what is the ram we had everything The fourth one is STCLT. This opens the backup and restore wizard that allows us to quickly set a backup schedule or a restore from the previous versions of the backup. Okay. COMPMGMT.MSC Computer Management Wizard. Okay. With this you can access almost all the advanced windows modules like event viewer shared folders and all the details can be known from a single window okay next one is clean mgr the clean mgr with this you, you need to select the drive which drive you want to clean up and just click ok it cleans the drive next one is event viewer see e event viewer e v e n t v w r dot m s c it opens the this event viewer is used for monitoring and the stable reasoning methods any application struck any error message we can find all these things from this event viewer and the eighth one is you might have all familiar of it is of control panel how to open control panel is control just type control over there in the run command it opens it opens the control panel the ninth one is mmc mmc is nothing but the microsoft management console this is mainly for the system administrators this is used for uh, configuring and monitoring the windows systems by the system admins okay and the tenth one is resource manager system resource see this was the resource monitor this is used for uh, simply we can say displays all the everything in the cpu how much the RAM is consuming and all these details we can come to know from here how much what are the resources are being utilized in the system okay by using this resource monitor and the 11th one is backslash with this we can access uh, by using this single backslash we can directly so by using this backslash we can directly open the C drive no need to go to my computers and select C drive directly just give backslash ok 
ट्वेल्थ वन इज डॉट सिंगल डॉट बाई यूजिंग सिंगल डॉट इट ओपन द करंट यूजर होम डायरेक्टरी डाउनलोड पिक्चर्स डॉक्यूमेंट एवरीथिंग करंट यूजर होम डायरेक्टरी कैन बी एक्सेस बाई यूजिंग ए सिंगल डॉट ओके थर्टीन वन इज डबल डॉट with this we can open the user profiles whatever whomever the system using like what are the profiles is there in the system we can directly known by this command it gives all the user profiles in the system see the 14th one is how to open a calculator c a l c c a l c is the command for opening the calculator see this opens the calculator the 15th one is command command prompt by typing cmd we can open the system command prompt okay the 16th one is powershell directly the powershell can be opened by using the command prompt is powershell in windows 10 the 17th one is net please be chart this gives us the advanced user account options okay. the 18th one is group edit group policy editor group policy edit gp edit dot ms this is the group policy editor that allows you <coughs> set or edit the different windows policies of the local or the remote computer you can set different windows policies over here okay and the 19th one is lusr mgr dot ms you open the local users and the group manager see can edit several properties of uh, all the users and the groups we can create the user we can delete the user from here this is the official way to create a user actually okay lusr mgr dot ms and the 20th one is mrt Microsoft Windows Miscellaneous Software Removal Tool. Actually, this runs in the background. See, this tool runs silently in the background. Okay, but if you want to run it manually, this is the command. So, the whenever the update has been released, the Microsoft will update this tool as well. You can find it in the Microsoft updates. Okay, and the twenty-first one is NCPA dot CPL. You might have known everyone like. this opens a network adapter connection it shows all the network adapters present in our system or laptop okay this is very useful command for troubleshooting the lan issues the 22nd one is prf mon.ms this is the performance of the windows computer if you want to view the performance of the window computer like uh, ram availability and the system uses cpu uses and everything can be known by here and uh, how much what are the applications are used how much the processor is consumed for this particular application everything can be known from here itself okay the next one is power cfg dot cpl this gives the power options in this is most useful when you use any laptop or something you can change the power settings from here by using this command okay next one is appwitch dot cpl this command is used to know what are the applications are running in the system current system these are all the applications in running in my present system okay this can be known this is also very useful to command okay And the twenty-fifth one is DVMG 
md.msc this gives us the device manager this is used like uh, what are the drivers has been installed properly or not or, and what are the hardware present if any driver update is needed we can, we can know all these things from here itself okay next one is rig edit see registry editor registry editor nothing but it's a hierarchical database that hosts all the configurations and settings on offering system that are installed in the programs all the settings what are the programs has been in all, all the settings can be present in this registry editor only this is very important command friends and the next one is ms config okay this gives the boot options system configuration this is also system configuration like um, we can edit the boot options startup options and services can be stopped from here startup services can be blocked from here everything can be done by using this ms config this is also very important command okay and the next one is system dot cpl this command gives the system properties if you want to know the computer name or something like that no need to go to my computer directly properties just use this command you can know the computer name whether it is in a domain or in the work group you can know all these things from here itself okay the next one is firewall.cpl this command is used to turn on or turn off the firewall in the particular pc okay we can know whether the firewall is on or off we can change the settings by using this command and the last one is the control update okay this gives the windows update settings we can find what are the updates is still pending whether to be installed or not we can find this windows update settings from here itself this is a very important command and that's all about for today friends uh please share this video to your friends if this might be useful to them as well okay thank you have a nice day